Hello everyone, it is me, Deafening Silence, and I am back, at least for this video, if it all goes well. I have been away for a while, and a lot of stuff has happened since I left, and um, some good, a lot of bad, <laughs> but um, I wanted to get back into doing this and be proactive. It would feel better about myself as well as giving back to the community that has been good to me and helped me through a lot. So I have been brainstorming different ideas that I can do with the channel with the limited setup that I do have. And one of the things that caught my attention one day while I was at Walmart was one of these things. This is not an officially licensed Pokemon product, but it does have, I believe, officially licensed Pokemon cards. And what caught my eye is apparently you, know, you can get three foil cards. They claim you could get yourself one of the Zapdos from the early days. I would just like to have the artwork again, honestly, even if it wasn't one of the original set. So, I've done card videos on here before, and I figured this is something I could do here. So, this thing contains three foil cards and 60 common cards. So, we'll open this up, look and see what kind of good stuff we can get. And perhaps we could get something good. But I just hope we get some good artwork in these cards. So let's open this thing up and see what's inside. Okay. So I had to go get my letter, op letter opener to get an incision in this thing so I could open it up and even see what's inside. Hopefully this is not too loud. If it is, I'll edit it out. And there's another <laughs> set of packaging. Oh boy. Be right back again. Alright, so there were two sets of wrapping on this thing. So I had to get my letter opener to get this thing open. I wanted to open this thing on camera that way. You know, I'm not faking it if I pull anything good. So here we go. Three good cards, 60 common. Let's see what we get. Opening it up. Let's see what we get. Ooh. I like this first one. Mega Absol EX. I love Absol. It's one of my personal favorite Pokemon top 10. Both in design and just playing with it on a team. It's very cool. Disaster Wing. What's next? <laughs> Darumaka from Gen 5. I don't really care for it or Darmanitan, but... It's a reverse hollow. I actually like them. I don't think a lot of people do, but I personally do. And last but not least, hopefully, Clink. Not a fan either of design, but that's just a personal preference. That, though, right there is really awesome. I like that a lot. So we will place him to the side and get the rest of the cards out and see what we get. think that was actually a little sleeve to put the hollow in, but I have my own for that later. So let's see what we get. We got Porygon 2. 
sock. Oddish, Gen 1. Poison Powder. Esper. Porygon with a cool looking attack there. That must be the beam attack it's mentioning there in the attacks. Roughly 20 years ago, it was artificially created using the latest technology of the time. So what's interesting about that is in the, in the Pokemon lore, there is a Pokemon God that created everything and created all the creatures we see. So some, it, it looks like it's commonly accepted that some Pokemon are actually created by human beings. At least, I think. Otherwise, they just got their plots mixed up. It's kind of like a Dragon Ball Z plot hole by Kira Toriyama. But, anyway. Meryl. Semi-poor. I don't think anyone likes the semi-monkeys, but, you know. N.K. Soul Rock, that is a good looking artwork there by. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Hold on. Uh, yeah, I give up on that one. <laughs> Can't pronounce it. My eyesight's not doing too well right now. Panseer. Oh, yay. It's my favorite. Charmander. Actually got my little buddy right here. He was a part of... I bought him at the store. He was a part of a gingerbread contest. I was in gingerbread house and uh, just went ahead and kept him. I want to put him to the side. We have another Porygon there. Guess they couldn't be bothered to keep doubles even out of one of these, but that's okay. Panpour. Metapod. This dude used to trip me up when I was a little kid. I couldn't figure out which one was which side was the head. <laughs> it looks like the nose is on the back, you know. Energy Loto. Tierno. Tierno, I think. Fire energy for my Charmander there. Another energy card. Carvana. I like Carvana. He's cool. Part of a Pokemon Nuzlocke randomizer I did one time on my main channel. Zubat. Which evolves in a crowbat. I love a lot. Hmm. Wingull. Surskit. Oh, yes. Alolan Sandshrew. I love Sandshrew. Both its regular form and its Alolan form. One thing I can say is um, it was several years. I, I didn't like anything much from Gen 4 through 6 as far as Pokemon designs. But Gen 7 really won me back over. Um, I liked most all the Alolan forms as well as quite a number of like the original designs that they came up with for the game. And uh, this was one of them that I loved. Stuffle. Golding, Golding, Golding. Spiro. I love that artwork. That's really nice. Tetsuya. Kazumi. 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 Froki. Love 
love using him, of course, like a lot of people. I like to buzz. What a awesome artwork. Get a look at that. What an awesome artwork. That is amazing. I love it. That is something I would like to try to draw on paper myself. Illustrated by somebody named Match, I guess. Half of all sudden blackouts are caused by electric buzz gathering at electric power plants and gobbling up electricity. <laughs> I love that. That goes to the side. Play pole. It's an ultra beast. Oh, skipped one there. Dynamo. I like Dynamo. That's a good artwork. I like that. Satoshi Nakai. Electros is a very great Pokemon to use, which devolves into. I like it a lot. He goes to the side. Nummel. And he's got a flamethrower. Nice. Scraggy. I like the black out, you know, outside the car. Fracture, love it. Fracture and Haxorus, one of my personal favorites. I like that artwork too, that's good. Goes to the side. Relicanth. Reminds me of the Coelacanth I just caught in Animal Crossing on the Switch a couple of weeks ago. Got a potion. Got another tier no card. Got a psychic energy. Another fire energy. Got myself a noctowl there. Got some cool looking attack names there. Like that. Sandy Gas. If I can get on my soapbox for a second. I'm not a fan of Pokemon that are like inanimate objects or things. I like them to be actual creatures. I mean, the name in itself Pokemon Pocket Monsters. I did see that there was one time someone had a theory that um, maybe it was in the Pokemon world but scientists are mistakenly given inanimate objects new Pokemon designations when it's actually just Ghastly and Haunter and Gengar <laughs> messing with them and haunting those objects. I like that theory. Lady Bo. Oh, it's a Caterpie. I like Caterpies. Believe it or not, the Caterpie artwork from the early cards back when they first came out is actually an artwork I really like, even though it's super simple. Oh, Alolan Grimer. Quickie. Saitel. It's cool. They should they actually been brought in to solve a problem with garbage. That's cool. He's cool. He goes to the side. <laughs> I do not mind getting doubles of this dude. That is so cool looking. Just wish he had better attacks. He should have like Thunderbolt or Thunder Punch. Another Porygon. Suruta. I like that Pikachu artwork. That's really cool. Goes to the side. Magic carp, carp, carp. I really like the Vsauce 3 video where they talk about how dangerous Magic Carp is because <laughs> it can jump in the air over a mountain. They talk about the velocity that it would have coming down, and it's actually 
super dangerous. <laughs> mud brain. I like mud brain. And what it evolves into. Really cool. He more what a stinking cool artwork. I like that a lot. And a soaky dynamic. I love that artwork. That is so cool. Fire types are my favorite type of Pokemon. Electric it is actually number three. That's why you've probably seen me pulling these electric types to the side. And there's the electric, what Dynamo evolves into. I'm not hugely crazy. I'm not very crazy about that artwork, though. Buffalant. Buffalant. By Tokia. Yeah, he goes to the side. I like that one a lot. Okay. Again. Dynamo again, though. I'm not a fan of that artwork. It's a little too... Uh, just not crazy about it. Tora Cat. I like Linton and Tora Cat as far as designs. I just don't like... I don't like the final form. It doesn't matter though. I would... I was using Rallets anyway. I was using Rallets and... Uh, but my mind is drawing a blank right now on names. <laughs> But it, it's final form. I loved it so much. Called it Arrow. <laughs> Misty. Grass energy. Water energy. Rhyhorn. In a very simplistic style artwork. I don't dislike it. But I'm not like crazy about it either. And then Hootoot. So several, several cards in here that I actually liked a lot. I'm so happy to get Absol. I'm not crazy about the reverse hollows. I wish they'd been cooler Pokemon, but this guy's really cool. And then the side cards that we got here. Boofalant, Heemore, Pikachu, Electabuzz, and then where's that other one? That artwork is so stinking awesome. Grimer. Fracture. Tynamo. Charmander. And there we are. Well, thanks, guys. I hope this is okay quality for a video. I'm getting back into this, and it's been a while. And it's definitely been a while since I made a video at all, regardless if it was in this format or not, but yeah, I plan to do maybe some more card opening videos, some gameplay videos again. Um, I want to get back into the comic book reading and the strategy guide read-throughs and stuff like that. I noticed I got a lot of views on the strategy guide stuff. That's really cool. But yeah, I want to get back into doing videos again, hopefully doing, you know, two or three a week and play some for you guys. I also plan to do, um, I, I've been big the past few, several months into collecting action figures and statues and stuff. Um, so maybe doing like some reviews of them or just showing off my collection. I collect a lot of s statues, figures, Funko Bops, things like that. So, um, that can be something I do is, you know, some videos about that. So, but anyone that's watching, thank you very much. And see you next time.